If you've ever been to Frenchtown, you may have noticed E.J. Collins. On most days, he can be found riding his bicycle with his trailer of plush friends in tow. And this little guy on his back, too. You might catch E.J. checking in with business owners and alerting folks of things going on throughout the borough. Or just generally trying to be helpful and chatting it up with folks. EJ is, EJ is, EJ is caring. A nice person. Helps everybody. Just a great guy. He's a light to this town. He's got a good heart. An amazing human being. EJ's awesome. Each time I, I go on a bike ride, I take my whole crew with me. They here to make the town happy, and they also help the children and adults to feel better if they ever feel down. It's clear that EJ is a fixture in this Delaware River community of about 1,400 people. Some even call him the mayor, and that's just fine with the actual mayor. I am the mayor of Frenchtown Borough, the official mayor, but the unofficial mayor of Frenchtown is now EJ Collins. I get a kick out of it, because EJ's often uh, first on the scene when there's an issue going on in town. He's the man about town, helping out, volunteering, and uh, he knows everyone's name, everyone knows him. All right. What's up, EJ? Oh, no, come on. How's your bike? I was thinking about you the other day. Oh, it was good. Yeah, cool, man. Same to you. I'll see you, EJ. Yep. 30-year-old EJ is on the autism spectrum and needs a little assist from time to time because both of his parents died in 2018. And that's where this community comes in. His dad was a local volunteer fireman, and EJ has spent his life following in his footsteps and his mom was a constant advocate for her son's special needs. Well, I do miss my dad. He had passed away on New Year's Day, but I always remember him in a good way. He in my heart, and so my mom. EJ is now on his own, living in a Frenchtown apartment complex. But with the help and oversight from the Ark of Hunterdon County, the town has rallied and embraced him. That whole community started from when EJ was very, very young. And it was just, if there were needs within the family, the community picked up on that right away. You know, there was always somebody there to help the family out. That was definitely a rallying point for the community to come together and make sure that he felt a lot of external love towards him and know that he was supported. It's just a really nice thing that no one really puts a second thought in. They just make an effort to, to keep trying to help him feel at home, you know. So my um, warden can help it out. Yeah, I yeah, do. that would actually be a great help. Hmm. Let me see what I'm doing. I think Dick did it. You want that guy? Sure. Uh, you can have that guy. Of course, EJ. Add him to your collection. Yeah. Tie him in on your... Give him your... a good spot on the wagon, though. Oh, oh yeah. wagon's out there fast <laughs> full right now. Nice. Yeah. He's the most caring per person in the whole world which is why I think this community cares for him back the way that we do. I gotta get you a name, you little Yeah, you gotta pick out a name for him. Hmm, I'm gonna name him Philip. Philip? Mm hmm I like it. Well, it's like named after my uncle and my cousin. Your uncle and cousin, mm -hmm. that's a special name. Very cool. Well, yeah. enjoy your buddy. Yeah. We love you. Today is one of EJ's work days. He's employed here at the Frenchtown Market IGA, just another example of his independence through the help of good people around him. Always been an asset to the store. It's helpful with the customers. Keeps things, um, keeps things neat and tidy around here. So as an agency, we empower people to be able to live the life that they see for themselves, that they envision for themselves. They say it takes a village to raise a child. In some ways, Maybe it takes this village to care for a young man with a big heart who just wants to help. Well, I love my hometown and the people that I work and care for them. And they help me, I help them. It's part of our return the favor. He's learning how to take care of himself and how to manage his, his home and work every day and go out and do the things that everybody else does. And, the community is always ready to lift him up, and that's, that's a wonderful thing. 
I think it's important for Frenchtown to keep EJ there as much as it is important for EJ to be there. So I just, I know, I, I just know that EJ's safe. I think that he's a shining example for what could really happen in the world if people were just more kind. It makes my heart warm and happy and it somehow the older wearing. All the time I just feel happier to the people you love.